Hey, this is Sierra Sullivan and I'm back with a little raw and real and today I want to share a story with you that many of you may not know about me because I'm really committed lately as I venture deeper into my path deeper into standing in front of the world with the ray asking women like yourself to be completely raw real open and authentic and I know that it's time for me to get raw and real and open and authentic with you because if I'm going to ask that of anybody around me, I need to be a stand for that as well. And that's in fact why I created this movement. For those of you who don't know me, I'm the founder and editor-in-chief and visionary behind The Ray, which is a magazine for women's empowerment, calling us to step up, own our power, love ourselves completely, and cherish who we are so that we can bring that energy into the world and give more fully to others. It's a movement, it's a community, and it's a place for us all to plug into, to feel the support and have the vehicle and the megaphone necessary to have our message heard so that we can inspire others who may be feeling similar things or having similar issues or feeling alone or despondent or abandoned. Our stories to illuminate their path as we illuminate our path. So that being said, what I want to share with you today is a little bit of my story that I haven't shared because I felt shame around it or I didn't realize that it was part of why I actually am motivated, inspired, and working my butt off to bring you the ray on a daily basis. And I think it's really important for me to start sharing this story so that you can all relate to me on a deeper level and know that if what I share and what I bring forth is really for you, if, if I'm the messenger um, or, the, or part of the inspiration that can lift you up when you're feeling down or bring you back and feel, help you feel connected when you're feeling abandoned and lost. So when I was in my teenage years, is when I really began to abandon myself. Now, I'm sure some of you can relate to the feeling of abandoning of self. I think we all have abandonment issues on some level. But it really started for me right around middle school when I was about to enter high school and an older man um, pursued me. And he was 16, an older man. <laughs> he was 16, I was 14. and he knew the ropes. He was a rebel and he was cool and he was in a band and he was an upperclassman and I was just a freshman and my soul knew don't go there. Don't go down that road. You can do it on your own. Enter high school and be your own you. But there was a part of me that wanted that safety and security of relationship. Part of me that didn't want to do it on my own. I wanted somebody there to show me around. I wanted somebody there to protect me. I wanted somebody there that cared about me. I wanted love. And so I said yes, and I got involved with this boy. And that relationship, I wasn't even attracted to him. But I did, there was something about him, something about him. And so I gave up on myself. I abandoned myself to be in that relationship. And from there, the whole journey of self-abandonment really began for me. I was young, and he was older, and he had already had sex. And so he was eager to have sex. And little by little, he whittled me down and pushed me in uncomfortable ways to try this and to try that. And it was really uncomfortable. But because I wasn't willing to stand for myself, because I wasn't able to stand for myself, because there was something I thought I needed more in the realm of safety and love, I didn't want to lose him. He was my security. So I agreed. And before I knew it, I was having sex. And I was only 14 years old. And that has profoundly affected my life ever since. Having sexual intercourse at that age, before I was able to even own who I was as a woman, own my own sexual power, has affected me deeply in all areas of my life, but especially in the bedroom. And I now, at age 33, I'm still just working on finding my voice in sexual settings and in other areas. It's no wonder that I have a magazine committed to women to speak up and speak out about our personal issues so that we can inspire others and heal ourselves. And it's no wonder that this pattern 
continued on in my life until it got to a very deep and dark place before I realized that enough was enough. When I completely abandoned myself to the core. And I'm going to share that story another time. But what I wanted to share with you today is this little piece. And I ask you, where have you abandoned yourself in life? Where did you know in your soul that something was not the right course of action for you and yet you chose to go ahead for security, for love, for safety, for protection, for convenience? Because you were too afraid to really stand for yourself because you weren't sure of what that was. We all have our stories. We've all abandoned ourselves. And I stand before you today asking you to look at those places in your life and where do they affect you? Where do you play small? Where do you stay in the shadows? What patterns continuously replay themselves over and over and over again in your life as a result of those choices? And isn't it time to step up and to take back your power, to reclaim your soul, to really fully honor and cherish yourself once and for all? I think so. And I invite you to join me on a very powerful community call, a free teleclass that I'm hosting on this Wednesday, September 17th at 6 p.m. Pacific time. And I invite you to come and get real and raw with me. Are you ready? Are you willing? I promise you, you will be motivated, inspired, and safe to get real and raw. And I will share more of this story with you then. And let's see how we can grow and inspire each other together. So come join me. You can click on the link below. It'll give you the call-in information. You must RSVP to be part of this call. And show up powerfully and know that you are loved and adored and welcome and part of this community. And I invite you to join us. Hope to see you there.